Hey guys, Rich Ferguson here. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you a great card trick you could do to two or three people, completely impromptu, no setup whatsoever. They shuffle the cards, they pick random numbers, and the cards you're looking for are found at those numbers. Check it out. One thing that's so rad about this trick is they get to shuffle the cards any way they want. They give them back to you, you take the cards as is, no setup whatsoever, and you proceed with this effect. You take the cards as shuffled, and you look through them, and you're gonna take out two particular cards. In this case, the five of spades and the jack of spades. You leave the cards as is, and you show the spectator these two cards, and you instruct them to do something that's apparently impossible. You hand the cards as is, shuffled by them, to spectator number one and you have them deal between one and 25 cards and stop at any specific number they have chosen in their mind. Let's say they are thinking of nine. I need five, seven, eight. They stop right here. You're gonna put a card here and then close up the deck. You turn to spectator number two. You have them do the exact same thing. A number between one and 25 in your mind and make a big deal about that, that it's free choice. They're gonna deal and stop at whatever their number is, you place their card in here, you close up the pack, and all you have to do is spread the cards or let them spread the cards, and what you're looking for is the two cards they placed into the pack at specific numbers. And as you may have guessed, they match with the cards that you set up previously without them knowing. How cool is this? So that's the basics of the trick. You can dress this up or dress it down. It plays really big and it's so simple off the cuff. Now, if you love magic or if you know someone who loves magic, look at my description. I'm gonna put a link to an online course for magic where I am the instructor. It's with International Open Academy and they chose me as the magic instructor and it's an incredible course with dozens of incredible magic from mentalism to card tricks to impromptu magic. Check it out. The setup to this trick is fantastic because there is no setup whatsoever. You're gonna give the cards to spectator number one. They're gonna shuffle however they want, give you the cards back, and you're gonna find two apparently random cards for two spectators. Now what's rad about this is all you're gonna do is find the match to the top and bottom card. You're gonna do this facing you, but exposed, I'm gonna look for the ace of clubs, and the top card is the eight of hearts, so I'm looking for the eight of diamonds. So all I'm gonna do secretly is say, I'm gonna find two cards for you folks. I wanna pull out the ace of clubs and the eight of diamonds. These are gonna be our magic cards. And then you give the cards as is to one of your two spectators. Now, all you have to do is remember what the bottom card is, which in this case is the ace of spades. And the top card, of course, is the eight of hearts. And they get to come up with the number between one and 25 and deal to that number. So the key point here is that chosen number in their mind, say it's nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is what's throwing them off because they could have picked any number, but it doesn't matter what they pick because you're going to place the match to this ace of spades right here face up and then throw the rest of the cards on top, sandwiching that into the deck. Then you go to the other spectator. You have them deal to a number between one and 25. Let's say they do right here. You have them place their card in the deck. You square it up. You've done nothing, they've done it all. And you say, if you get it right, you guys would have picked the exact count to find the match to those cards. And then you have another spectator or one of them spread the cards or look through the cards and this is what you're gonna see going to go through and you're looking for these matches. It's the card that's on top because that's where you placed it. So you have one pair here and one pair here. Now here's the rad part. You turn these over or let them turn them over and it's a perfect match. How simple is that? Involving one, two, three, or even four spectators. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this simple card trick that plays really big and you don't have to do almost anything. Now be sure to click around my site for hundreds of other tutorials. If you love magic, please click that like button and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.